In this video, I'm going to show you how to use airspace signature together with status line, or if you are using a nitro version of NeoWing. Inside wing buyer, move my cursor, park my cursor. You can see both wind wind barrier and the status line will get updated. How to do that? First, uh, in my LSP signature, maybe check with me. There's an API status line, which returns a table contains the label, which is the uh, code signature. Of current function, also hint, which is the current active parameter, and the range, which is the offset of hint inside this label, and last but not least, documentation. How to use that? First, let me check how to use in status line. So I'm using wing line. The essential part is here. First, I'm getting the current signature. This function is defined here. So current signature, uh, check signature valid or not. If it's valid, uh, get the uh, signature and then return the label plus hint and the signature itself. So if you want to keep it simple, maybe you could just show the label. If you want to show the active uh, parameter, you could use int. So on this part, we'll calculate the, it's more like a split label into two half. First half is before the active parameter. Second half is after the active parameter, so that you could show before active parameter green, current parameter yellow, and then after green again. Uh, is the see our first part green, yellow, and green. Then let's take a look of the wind bar setup. Wind bar setup is similar, uh, but because there's more space in wind bar area here. So I'm also using wind bar area to show the uh, current code context, which is an API provided by Trisita. Let's see these. So this one or this one? Yeah, this one. So this is the uh, how do you get three C the code context? Uh, it's an API from three C the status line. You pass in the max width and also the type pattern. Uh, I need to capture all those, say, class, function, method, if, for, and comments. Uh, all those patterns were captured. So yeah, that's pretty much it is. And then go back to WinBar. And I will call a uh, signature status line. Also, get the signature. And if the signature is not valid, I just return the uh, tree theta context. Um, otherwise, I will calculate the first half as what I did in status line. And then, second half, 
And also, I'm planning to show the documentation. Those uh, because some of the comments or documentation could be very long, like this. So I got to trim it. So I will calculate the based on the width of my new wing. I calculate the trim size and then trim the documentation. And after that, just put it all together, label, signature, label, and then documentation. So that's give me this. So uh, first label one, active parameter, label two, and documentation. You may move my cursor outside the function. I will get the code context showing the wind barrier. So it is in the status line. That is pretty much it is. So thank for watching my video. And uh, if you like my video and learn something, please subscribe to my channel and also give me a thumbs up for my videos. Thank you.